I had to pull the uh, the seal out again, the brand new seal I just put in because I did just discover that the uh, that the needle bearing below it is actually all froze up, and that needle bearing has got I've got to put a new needle bearing in. And I've it's taken me a while to get that uh, through the mail, but uh, I finally got it on eBay, and it's taken a couple weeks to get here. But uh, I've got to I've got to disconnect this separate the gear case from the lower lower portion of the gears and uh, and pull this out uh, I get I've got a special tool that I have to hammer it through the bottom pop that bearing out but I have to take these two these two nuts off first so that's what I'm going to do next I've had to dig in a little deeper into this. This is going to be a little trickier than I thought. Um, pulling this lower end off completely is, uh, at least these bolts, these nuts came off easily. That was a, a major deal too. Um, <clears throat> shit, pop off, there we go. Messy down here. Okay, I've got it this far now. I'm gonna remove the the uh, shift cable from this bottom portion. 
And again, they have blade connectors down here. I don't know if you can see this in the angle that you're at. Probably not. So I'm going to put you on hold and I'm going to move you over. That's a little bit better of an angle I think you can see where I've separated the actual gear case uh, from the housing where the water pump resides. So I'm going to disconnect these, these lines and this casing should come right off and then I can pull the, uh, the needle bearings right out. So. notice that there is a little bit of a gouge on this wire and they are a bit brittle so got to be very careful with these they're blade connectors that disconnect and I don't want to break them Should be color coded here, but it's hard to see. Come right off. Yes. Very good. All right. And sitting here, you'll notice that the uh, impeller, the old impeller, this is the old impeller pump, actually straightened out a bit. So it's not as worn out as I thought. It actually re retook its straight shape. The elasticity isn't so bad. So I actually could probably reuse that. I bought, did buy a new one, but uh, I might decide to reuse that. All right. Next step would be, I'll remove this from the vise. I purchased a tool on eBay. This is a bearing remover, yes, a bearing remover tool specifically for this bearing. But I thought, well, it's a machined item and I better get something that I can get in there that I know I'm not gonna tear it up. So this is what I purchased and I'm sure that'll work. That's a, <clears throat> it's a part, there's actually a part number on here. It's etched into it, 309916. If you punch that into marineengine.com, that tool will probably come up. But I've, uh, I found it on eBay at about $18, which seemed worth it. See if it does the job. Whoa, wow, this bearing's froze up too. That's the pinion bearing on the bottom of the, of the shaft. That's all froze up too. Well, I 
don't think I have another one of those. I'm going to have to, if you can see that, that bearing, those needle bearings are all locked up. I'm going to squirt them down. Maybe I can get them cleaned up and get them freed, but that's not good. I, I'll have to search at the web for that and see if I can find a bearing for that as well. tool underneath and drive it out from, from the bottom. So <clears throat> give that a few wax and see what happens. <laughs> well it's coming. It's coming. There it went. There she is. And if you can look down in there, those needle bearings are all frozen in there. They don't move, they're all locked up, they're no good. So, I might purchase a new one, and this is it. But I didn't realize that this one was also froze up. Also looks like this is missing a bearing, like a bearing or two popped out of it, probably into the uh, lower gear case, fell down into the lower gear case. Tear up that drive shaft and that pinion. A couple of thrust washers down in there. I might have to, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off of there. There's an o ring on top. That's a probably $50 bearing there too. Didn't want to really put that kind of money into this engine, but yeah. I don't know if I can shock that out of there. 